Hello everyone. Today, our science experiment shows a bit of magic, friends. A bit of magic. Not only a bit of magic, but it also makes secondary colors. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So this magic that you are about to see in the rainbow walking water, that is the name of our experiment this week the rainbow walking water and friends the rainbow walking water shows us a chemical reaction called the capillary reaction Ooh, that's a fancy word it's probably hard for you to say in the beginning capillary capillary reaction everybody say it capillary reaction yes and the rainbow walking water shows a capillary reaction and a capillary reaction is when water moves up on something solid like a tube or a sponge you ever seen a straw inside a cup or you drinking some juice or water from a straw and it just sits there you could see the water go up the tube a little bit the straw or a sponge even a sponge right? You put water on a sponge and it soaks it up. That is a cap capillary reaction. Look, Miss A even got stuck with the work because it's so fancy. Capillary reaction. We're going to see the capillary reaction in the rainbow walking water. So let's get started, friends. The rainbow walking water has simple, simple materials. You need clear cups, you could use glasses or you could use plastic clear cups. I have some plastic clear cups here and some food coloring and some paper towels. You need some water, some plastic, or you could use some glass cups, food coloring and paper towels. So friends, we're going to get started and we're going to see how the capillary reaction occurs in this experiment and how we make secondary colors. The capillary reaction causes the primary colors to make secondary colors. So friends, our primary colors are red, yellow, and I have blue. So the first thing you do, I did this part already ahead of time. The first thing you do is fill up the first cup, the third cup, and the fifth cup three quarters of the way okay three quarters of the way and then your second and fourth cup you only fill up one third of the way okay i'll repeat that again the first cup the third cup and the fifth cup you want to fill up three quarters of the way and the second cup and fourth cup you fill up one third of the way so friends, after you have your cuts, your, your cups in a nice row, then you start with your red food coloring. You are going to pour five drops of red food coloring in the first cup. So I poured five drops. And then on the, in the third cup, you're going to pour five drops of yellow. In the fifth cup, you're going to pour five drops of blue food coloring. So cool. You may want to mix the food coloring so that it can dissolve faster. And then Next step, we did step one. We filled our cups with the right quantity of water. And then we poured the food coloring in the first cup, the third cup, and the fifth cup. Friends, now you're going to take five, five sheets of paper towel and you're going to roll, roll it up gently because you don't want them to rip. You don't want them to rip. So you want to fold them from the top to the bottom. If you have a flat surface, it's best. Roll it up. 
gently so that they don't rip. And then just squeeze it together. And then you want to twist gently. Twist. It's like you're making a snake. You twist, keep twisting all the way to the end. You want to be careful that you don't rip them. You don't want to tear it. And then I have my paper towel snake ready. It's my paper towel snake. And then you put it in the first cup and gently you want to dip the tip the second cup then you put it in the third cup then you put it in the fourth cup gently and then you put it in the fifth cup <gasps> look the capillary reaction is already occurring the paper towel the solid it's soaking the liquid and friends you will leave your five cups sitting for approximately an hour to an hour and a half, 60 to 90 minutes. And you are going to see that our primary colors will make secondary colors. Friends, I am, I am about to show you what happens after an hour to an hour and a half because Miss A did the experiment before I met with you today so that you can see what you will see when you do the rainbow walking water with your family and friends after our hour and a half. So friends, check it out what it will look like after you let it sit for 60 to 90 minutes. Wow, look how cool that is, friends. The red and yellow food coloring made orange, and the yellow and blue food coloring made green. That is our rainbow walking water. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this week's experiment. I can't wait to see videos and pictures, and I can't wait to hear how much you taught your family and friends about capillary reaction and how to make secondary colors out of primary colors. Bye friends!